Hello everyone, this is a new topic in predictive analytics unit 2. Please watch all the videos in unit 2 and then come to this video, then only you can understand. Okay, what is this topic? Cross validation. What will be doing in this cross validation? Let's see. Cross validation is a statistical technique used to access the performance and generalization ability of the machine learning model. Here we are going to uh, using this uh, cross validation we can access the in performance and generalization ability of a particular model which model machine learning model okay the goal of cross validation is to provide a more reliable estimate of a model's performance on unseen data compared to a single train test split okay the main goal of cross validation is to provide a more reliable estimate of a model's performance what are the key concepts of cross validation first one is training and test sets in training and test sets first one in traditional machine learning the data set is split into training data set used to train the model and the test set used to evaluate the model's performance in each machine learning model we use the two concepts for the data set that is first one will split the data sets okay into training set and the test 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 set here also the first concept using in cross validation is in traditional machine learning uh, we used to split the data set into two that is train and test same thing we are doing in cross validation also next let's see this picture here after dividing the machine learning model into machine learning model data set into two test and train what is happening in test data it will test by iterations in iterations in the sense it will continuously check for the small amount of data small amount of it will divide it will divide the data and it will test at a time it doesn't check the all the data it will check individually for the small amount of data first we'll train the data set what will train check whether the uh, input is correct or not we are training the data set how if it uh, for example if we have a two color balls same like this that yellow uh, sorry red and green okay in this red and green i am training my model to only select the red balls to and delete that uh, don't count the number of green balls only count the number of red balls i am training my data model like this in test data what will it perform test data will check only the red balls only it doesn't check the green balls right same as that whatever we are training to the data it will perform in the test data here in the training data is comparatively asking about test data to test here this test data will at a time it doesn't check all the data it will check by iteration see here in iteration one it is checking for the five balls and iteration two next five in iteration three next five that is the process of continuously going on for the iteration k okay after completing the, all the data it will provide the output this is called cross validation it doesn't check first only it will check cross see here if by seeing or uh, checking the data how it is it is in cross line okay next what is mainly the cross validation is cross validation involves dividing the data set into multiple subsets or folds it will divide the data into multiple subsets or folds the model is trained on some of these folds and tested on the remaining fold. In a particular fold, first fold will be selected and for that first fold it will train the data. And next it asks to check all the data folds based on this first data fold. Okay. Next, k-fold cross validation. We are saying that we will test on some folds, right? right? Up to k-fold will test. What is k-fold cross validation here? The most common form of cross validation is k fold cross validation, where the data set is divided into k folds. It means number of folds. The model is trained and tested, tested k times. Number of times it will check. If we have testing number of times, then we can call it as k times. If we have number of uh, data, then we can call it as k folds each time using a different fold as a test set and the remaining folds as a training set okay each time we'll use a different different uh, test folds and the training sets 
this is a k fold cross validation picture here see here we have a data and in the data we are going to split the data 80 percent of the data into training data and 20 percent into testing data after splitting all we will perform a k fold cross validation and we will check the each the data and uh, if it is wrong it will again train by the train model if it is correct then evaluate model it will give the output directly okay this is the example of k fold cross validation next we have second type in uh, cross validation first one is k fold cross validation second one is leave one out cross validation l o o c v this in this uh, leave one uh, out cross validation each data point is treated as a separate test set each data point it is going to consider and the model is trained on all other data points that is computationally expensive but provides a robust estimate okay it's a next stratified cross validation this is also a type of cross validation in class in classification problems it is essential to ensure that each class is presented proportionally in both the training and the test sets stratified cross validation maintains the class distribution in each fold okay these are all the types of cross validation i explained here three okay if we have etc also but we need only for this three understood next what is the advantages of cross validation first one is better performance estimate reduced variance next one third one is utilizes entire data set what is better performance estimate cross validation provides same more reliable estimate of a model's performance by averaging over multiple set, test sets that means it will check all the data multiple data sets and it will give an a reliable estimate of a model's performance okay next one reduced variance it helps reduce the variance in performance metrics that may arise from the randomness of a single trend test split okay third one is utilizes entire data set it will utilize entire data set cross validation ensures that the entire data set is used for both training and testing maximizing the use of available data it doesn't leave any data it will check all the data and it will train all the data it will test all the data okay this is the advantages of cross validation let's see here process of cross validation cross validation process is first step is data splitting we are going to split the data into k folds the data set is divided into k folds that means number of folds training and testing the model is trained k times each time using a different fold as a test set and the remaining fold as a training set i have already told that if we have a two sets it one will be trained and one will be tested by using the different different folds it will check here next one is performance metrics Perform performance metrics is like example accuracy precision recall i have uh, told in the previous videos what is accuracy precision and recall we have some pro uh, formulas for these three also we'll check the performance metrics and calculated for each iteration what is the exactly solutions for these particular folds next average performance by comparing this all the above three steps will get an overall performance average performance across all the iterations is calculated providing a more suitable or stable estimate okay let's see an example let's compare these all the points with an example you can understand easily let's see testing study techniques we all use some study techniques in the exam timings or in any any other time to prepare for any exams okay what you'll do imagine you are a student trying to determine the most effective study technique for an upcoming exam you are going to write an exam uh, before uh, before writing an exam you will estimate uh, which technique is easy to read all the units you will estimate something right you have to set a study strategies you want to evaluate including reading textbooks watching online tutorials and practicing with flash cards okay you may have many examples or many study effective study techniques by comparing all the study effective techniques you doesn't have an clarity to which one i used to choose so in that cases this, this cross validation will help full to choose any one which is the best solution okay first one data you have a data that is study materials 
your data consists of study materials related to the exam such as textbooks, online tutorials and flashcards. You have all this data with you. K4 cross validation. You decide to use K4 cross validation to access the effectiveness of each study technique. That means you are assess assess assessing the each study technique which one is better for me to for preparing to the upcoming exam. First step what you will do data splitting. You are going to divide your study materials into k folds. Let's say you choose k is equals to 5. That means you choose as the 5 study materials. So you have 5 subsets of the study materials. First iterations. What we will be using in these iterations? For each iteration you pick one fold as a test set and the remaining folds as a training set. You have 5 study material. One study material in you have divided into 5 subsets. And for each iteration, you will select the one fold as a test set and remaining folds as a training set. You perform this process k times, ensuring that each fold serves as a test set exactly once. Okay, sorry, I'm going to test the test chase set. I'm going to test the test chase set. I'm going to use the test chase set. Okay, I'm going to test the test. टेस्ट चेल्लिंदे कंपलसरी दिन वेर यूज स्टडी मेटीरियल सबसेट्स मैं फाइव सबसेट्स फाइवनी मैं खचिता टेस्ट चेयर अंत तप फोर वे खचिता फाइवनी टेस्ट बेस्ट सोल्यूशन अने वस्तु ओके नैक्स्ट एवल्यूशन यू यूज ईच स्टडी टेक्निक रीडिंग टेक्स्ट बुक्स वाचिंग आनल ट्यूटोरियल यूजिंग फ्लाश कार्ड टू स्टडी द ट्रेनिंग सैट अंड एवल्युएट दिस् पर्फॉमें on the corresponding test set for instance you may measure your understanding of the material or your ability to recall key concepts you will evaluate which textbook is correct or which online tutorial is best for my exam or using flashcards how can i learn it means you will you will evaluate its performance on the corresponding test set okay next average performance after completing all the key iterations after uh, uh, means you are concentrating on all the techniques after completing all the k in iterations you calculate the average performance of each study technique across the all test sets then you will get an understand uh, means you will understand which technique is better by comparing to all the data okay this provides a more robust estimate of the effectiveness of each strategy by comparing all the techniques you will get an idea better which is useful for my upcoming exam okay conclusion based on the average perform performance you can determine which study technique appears to be the most effective for your learning style and the specific exam content okay by using k4 validation you can easily validate your data with your having data okay thank you